Okay, so this is problem number four, the math part. Remember going back to the equation, it says how many grams of copper would you need to completely react with four grams of silver nitrate dissolved in water? So like I said, I always start with what I know. I know that I have four grams of silver nitrate. We know that silver nitrate is AgNO3 from the equation that we just made. All right. All right, so we start with what we know. Again, what do we know that also has grams in it when it comes into relation to uh, chemical compounds? And we know that is the molecular mass. So let's calculate the molecular mass for silver um, nitrate. And we do that by taking the molecular mass of silver plus the molecular mass of nitrogen plus the molecular weight times three of oxygen. So that is going to give us 169.87 grams of silver NO3. And again, you just use your periodic table and you take the masses and you add them together. Make sure you're multiplying the, like with oxygen, you'd multiply that mass times three. All right, so pause if you wanna do that. I was just trying to make the uh, videos a little quicker by having those already figured out. All right, so we have 169.87. And we know that that represents one mole of silver nitrate. So we'll put one mole of silver nitrate on top of that. The two grams cancel out, so we can go cancel this and cancel that. Now in our equation, we have one mole of silver nitrate. How do we get rid of that one mole to cancel it out? We know that we can look at the ratio in the chemical equation that we're dealing with and see how many moles of silver nitrate that we have. When we look here, okay, how many moles of silver nitrate do we have? We have two. So the ratio, we're going to put two moles and we know that it goes on the bottom because we know they need to cancel out. So we've got two moles of sodium nitrate. Okay. All right. Next, we need to see what we're solving for. Um, we are looking to see how many grams of copper. Okay. So now we need to look at the equation and see how many moles of copper we have, and we have just one. So we'll put that up top. One mole of copper. All right, so that's what my equation is looking like. All right, so now we need to get from moles to grams. So we're, that's when we're gonna bring in the molecular mass again. So we'll put one one mole of copper on the bottom and then we know the molecular mass or the the mass for copper is 63.55 and that's grams of copper all right so we know that we can cross out cross that out cross out the moles so we're left with grams of copper, and that's exactly what we need to solve for. So now we will do our solving here. Okay. All right, so we multiply four times 63.55, so that gives us 254.20 on top. On the bottom, we have 169.87 times 2. That gives us 339.74. All right, so then we divide the 254.2 by 339.74.
and we get 0.7482. Again, I don't know how far he wants you to go out, but then that's grams of copper. All right, so we did the math, multiplied across the top, multiplied across the bottom, divided the top by the bottom, and we get 0 0.7482 grams of copper. Now, before we think that we're done, we need to go back to the problem just to make sure that we know that we're solving for, a, to check to see if we're solving for a reactant or a product. When we read it, how many grams of copper would you need to completely react with silver nitrate? So we're looking for a reactant, so we do not need to multiply it by the efficiency yield because we're looking for a reactant and not a product. So that would be the answer.